from little things, big things grow from little things, big things grow. Hi, Tony from Acorn, uh, doing some planting and plants just to show you the right and hopefully not the wrong way. First thing is the, sh the hole should always be a little bit deeper but a lot wider. 90% of the root growth is lateral. Very few roots go down. The further down you get, the less water, the less air, and the less food. So the roots want to stay near the surface. You've got to facilitate that. So we've got a plant here. This is a uh, oak leaf hydrangea. Beautiful root system. Look at that. Lovely. That's the feeder root system. We don't tease it. Teasing that root system would wipe out half the feeder root system. Plant has a heart attack. It takes six months to recover. All I do is with my thumbnail or the pointy secateurs, just gently score that about five places around and across at the bottom. Gently reorientated the whole root system growth. Pop it in the, the, the hole. Got a bit of loose stuff at the bottom, but plenty of width either side, two or three either side. Best soil conditioners. If the soil is very poor, Sugro compost. Best in the business by far. If your soil's not bad, grow better organic fertilizer, mixture of blood and bone, um, poultry manure, uh, seaweed, and um, fish meal. So it's lots of good stuff. Always use smelly brown organic stuff. We don't want fertilizers that are gonna burn the new roots or hurt the new plant. We wanna make everything gentle. So we mix a bit of good stuff in. If the soil is really good, then just a handful or two of blood and bone. But put something into the soil around it. We wanna tempt the roots out. We don't wanna tease the roots out. So we put some good stuff in the soil. In this case, because I love my zoo grow, I'm gonna mix some of this in, the soil around it. It's good stuff, it's a byproduct of the zoo, um, has the magic ingredient elephant manure in it. Mix that in with our soil as we back backfill around it. A bit more. The roots want to grow out into this. They can smell it, they can taste it. Um, they want to grow out, so you're facilitating the growth. So we mix a liberal amount in. Can't fill it with too much of this stuff. The only way you can hurt a plant with zoo grow is drop the bag on it, and we're not going to do that. So we're mixing that in, we bring that soil in back around it. It's up on a slight mound. Never plant plants deeper than they were in the pot. 99% of plants hate it. So it's up on a mound. So there's a nice mound, surface roots above the soil around it. Just pat it down, don't stamp it in. You don't want to compact the soil too much. You want to make it easy for the roots to grow out. You want to tempt the roots out. That's it, we're going to mulch. Bob's your, Bob's your uncle. From little things, big things grow From little things, big things grow